Hi guys, this is Elise and I just wanted to quickly share with you guys the beginning of my daily, um, December daily. Last year I tried to make one and I just did not get very far. Um, I realized that you kind of almost need to have it um, made way ahead of time, at least the bones of it put together way ahead of time. And then when December comes around and you start taking your pictures, you pretty much, you know, have like a framework for it or at least, um, you know, the album and you just need to embellish it, you know. So so that's what I tried to do this year because I'm really, really wanting to um, have a de December, make a December daily. So let me show you my front cover because that's all well, I've, I've done the front cover and I've done most of the pages as far as like covering them with paper and sort of putting them in order the way I want them to be. And then I have a couple other um, things I want to share with you that I picked up. Um, not very many, but I just thought it was really some good deal. So Anyway, um, here's my cover at the beginning of my December daily. This is my cover, and let me see if I can, let me back up just a little. Okay, so I can get it better. Okay, so here's the front cover, and um, I'm using some October afternoon paper from last year. I'm using a combination of the, um, oh gosh, um, well, anyway, I'll put the I'll put the name of the papers that I'm using. I'm using two different um, October afternoon, which is like one of my favorites. I love this, and so um, and then this piece right here. Everyone keeps asking me where I got this. I actually got this at Michaels in the dollar fifty bin, and what it is, it's a it's a thick piece of wood. Can you see? And um, it has like um, fabric material on top of it. So I thought that was really pretty when I saw that I picked this up a while back and when I when I saw that I, I, I knew that I wanted to use that right away I knew that I wanted to use that on the front of my uh, December daily so here it is and I just used some thickers to put 2012 and then these are um, pieces from the October afternoon one of the um, um, what do you call it flower sacks uh, where you get the little you know embellishment pieces and then I put an October afternoon button and then this is some just some um, American craft twine that I have and then of course this is this is lace that I got like at the um, I got this lace actually at the swap meet and then I put um, some eyelets here and this is October afternoon paper along with um, and this is just some some uh, what do you call it not rickrack but it's felt and it has this like zigzaggy uh, pattern to it so I put that there and then I put a doily back here and then I use some thickers to spell out home for the holidays so and then this um, this is also part of the October afternoon collection and I put some glossy accent on that so there's my cover and I like the way it turned out I'm, I'm really liking it and then on the back um, I put this print which is also October afternoon and I'm gonna when I embellish this this is gonna be my page where I'm gonna write a really nice uh, letter to my family so that's going to be my one page and then I started making things to go on the inside and so I um, had this coin envelope and I wanted to put something in that and so I put this um, ribbon and this is um, I'm not sure I think this is I want to say this is Mayart's ribbon I could be wrong um, and then I had this one jingle bell and actually this jingle bell I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it there I need a really I need a smaller one because this one is popping my book up just way too um too thick on that one page and then I just tied it with some baker's twine so that that's in there and then this page right here what I've done with this page um, I covered it with paper and then um, I added this flap here so that if I wanted to this could be day one this could be day two because in the beginning of the month I'm not gonna have like a full page for those days because in the beginning of, De of December um, you know, it's you're still in that everyday life kind of mood, you know, and um, um, I'm still doing Christmas, getting ready for Christmas, but I don't need a full page. So, um, uh, so anyway, this is this might be page one, and this could be page two. This this section here, and then you open up the flap, and that could be page three, or I can go one, two, and then three like this. I think that's what I'll probably do, maybe. So, but anyway, I'm just trying to get it you know get the book itself like the covers the pages cover and see how many pages I need and then I put that on the back and then in the inside the next thing I made I made this little um this little pocket and I just used some of the October afternoon paper and um and I could put a little tag or something in there I didn't put paper in the inside but I am going to take my one inch punch and punch a little notch out right there and so I used some washi tape to close it well I closed it with glue but 
I put some washi tape there and I'm finding that when I use my washi tape if I really want it to stick I use my glossy accent and put a little just a tiny bit of strip underneath the washi tape and then that way it doesn't lift because washi tape some of it sticks really well and some of it doesn't so um, and then I put this little be merry here so that's something I made to go inside my book and then the next page I put this paper here and so my book is eight by eight and the reason I did that is because the paper pad that I have the October afternoon paper pads are eight by eight and I really wanted to use that paper without having to cut it down to say six by six and it wasn't big enough to go bigger than that so I figured I would just leave it that that way so these so if you haven't seen these papers um, here you go so here's another little pocket that I made and this one's gonna hold a tag it may not be this tag but I was just using this tag to 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 make my slit and so I made a slit right there and um, I used to actually do this with my kids when I used to teach school I used to make um, little games and I would make like flashcards kind of like this and I would put like a say a multiplication problem or addition problem years ago and then I would um, put the answer on a little card and it would you know make a little slit and then just pull it out and they could see the answer so that's real clever so if you have some little kids and you need a fun way to help them with their math or whatever you can make something like that so um, so I used to do that when I used to teach so anyway um, old idea and just using it in a new way so um, and here's the back and I just made a belly band and I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on this page yet but I like that ribbon with this with that paper and then this um, page right here I thought this was cute paper and basically I just used the papers as they were but I'm adding things to each page and this page right here I um, I use part of one page and then I put I covered it with this paper and then I made a pocket and it's a chipboard I put it on chipboard and I made a pocket here and I put some of this pretty pretty lace um, on top of this page so I can put tags here, I can put pictures here, I can put receipt, whatever I need to put in there. And I can put a picture here. So once I start embellishing, I'll come back and show you guys how I'm coming along. So there's the back. And then now I need to show you guys these two pages together. Because, well not really. This, this right here is going to be an insert in the middle of... It's going to be in the middle of these two pages. Can you guys see those two patterns? I know I don't have it really in frame. Let me do this like this. Let me just put it down and move this out of the way. Okay, so this is going to go like this. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. This is going to go like this. And then these two pieces that I cut, they're going to go in like this. So when you open it up to this page, it'll look like a Christmas tree. So isn't that cool? So it's going to look like a Christmas tree. So I'm going to embellish that up and decorate that. And I think that'll be really pretty. So if the page is open like this, it'll look like there's a Christmas tree in the middle of the book. So that's how I'm going to do that, and I still need to put paper on the back. Okay, so this next page is covered with this paper. Haven't done much. And then on the back, it looks like this. I used some more of that dot print. And next to that page is this holly berry um, print with the little jingle bells. Oh, no, those aren't jingle bells. Those are just the little berries coming off. I thought those were jingle bells. I had to look a little closer. And then the next page is this one. And, um, and, and then I still need to cover the back and I need to make a back cover. So uh, so that's the beginning of my December daily. And there is a group on Facebook. It's called um, A December to Remember. I'm part of that. And there's some really sweet ladies over there with some wonderful ideas. And everybody's starting to share their progress in their December daily. So, um, so I'm having fun with that. So this is something that I'm doing for myself and I am going to get this done. So I'm going to come back and show you guys what I've done. So let me show you something else that I got. Um, there also in my town, there is a, um, a Facebook group where people, it's like an online garage sale and it's a private group and people sell things, you know, I mean, you can buy pretty much anything on there, but, um, there was a lady that sold, she had baker swine and, um, I got these. Look at these. Wow. Look how big these are. Look how much. I'll never use this much baker's twine. But she had them for $7 a piece. So I got both of these for 14 bucks. I thought that was a wonderful deal. I couldn't pass it up. So I got red and white. And I got blue and white. So um, so if, you, if you're going to get. If you get a package from me. There will be baker's twine in it. In those colors, at least in those colors. And then I got um, my local scrapbook store. They had their anniversary sale. And I also um, won. They had a contest, too, where you had to do a layout with the, uh, there was a little yellow bicycle um, kit that they gave you. And you had to do a layout or some kind of project with it. And I made a layout 
which I don't do very many layouts, but surprisingly enough, I came in third place. Um, and so I won a $25 gift certificate. And um, so I used it, and I and plus they had a sale as well. And so I got some American Craft cardstock, and I am so out of cardstock, it's just not even funny. And they had a really good price on it. So they had it for, um, my camera's in the way, but they had it for, see if I can show you, $12.99. So I got these um, pastel colors. I got this this pack right here with all these pretty colors so I got that one and then I got the um, the autumn collection and you know this is really good cardstock I mean it's just wonderful and it has all these pretty colors all these pretty colors so I got that one and then I got um, I got the Christmas one I got this one with all these pretty colors so I got those and those are only $12.99 a piece and I want to go back and at least get um, a pack with, of neutral because I think they're still on sale so I'm gonna go see if she still has any left and if she has the neutral pack because I'm because I am I mean I am empty on I have scraps and just small pieces of cardstock now and I've been actually buying cardstock as I need it and and since she had it on sale I went ahead and just bought at least those three and I want to go back and get some more so that's all I have to share I want to share, share that with you guys and um, thank you guys for watching bye